Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are going to be doing something kind of fun. We're going to make a llama wreath. We're going to put llamas on it, which makes sense for it to be a llama wreath. We're going to start with this 14 inch wreath frame. Now this is a new one that I got at Dollar Tree. Now it's the same size and everything, but this one is actually painted kind of a taupe color. Usually they're that dark green, but right now, at least at um, one of the Dollar Trees here, they have these, if it matters, I mean they're just kind of a taupe color, and then they have some that aren't even painted, so it's just the bare metal, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, they have these, so yeah, they're only a dollar. I did learn something about the pumpkin forms, you know, we did those pumpkin wall hangings, just a tip, if you're going to mail those, because they're so wide, it ended up being an oversized package and the shipping is going to be obscenely high on that because <laughs> I mailed both of them out. And um, they weren't heavy, but because of the measurements of the, the package itself, and I, I squished it down as much as I could and wrapped it in craft paper, it was still really big. Um, yeah, it's expensive. <laughs> but these, these are no problem. These, um, you can ship these very inexpensively if you just package them in craft paper. Don't even put them in a box because they don't really get damaged. Um, you can usually ship them for less than $10, so it's awesome. So I got this idea when I was in Dollar Tree the other day, and out of nowhere, I spotted this ribbon. And on the ribbon packaging, and we have, I found another one. I was in uh, Dollar Tree yesterday, and I found this one that I did not see before. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different designs. And on each spool of this ribbon, it has Southwest Llama ribbon on it. It's a whole little set of, uh, of ribbon. So I saw this in there. Oh, so I saw this in there and decided to make a wreath with a, a, this kind of theme to it. I, okay, now, I don't know about Dollar Tree in your area. We have a, a blue million Dollar Trees around here, and somehow they're all slightly different. You can find some things at one that you don't find at the others, and I don't know why that is. But we have this one Dollar Tree here that always has bizarre stuff that the other ones don't have. I don't know why, but I found this at the Bizarre Dollar Tree, and it's not bizarre. It's actually great because I always find cool stuff, but it has stuff the other ones don't. I don't know why. It's not bigger than the others. You know, sometimes you have some that are really big. Actually, one of the biggest Dollar Trees in existence is in Burlington, which is, or Elon. I don't know. It's, it's that way. Uh, it's really big. I think it used to be a grocery store, then they turned it into a Dollar Tree, and it's massive. They also have farmhouse ribbon with, I think it's mostly black and white and it has little cows and barns and stuff on it. They have several types of farmhouse ribbon and there was another, oh, they have unicorn ribbon too. They had a whole um, section of unicorn themed ribbon as well. Um, I picked up one that had little rainbows on it. It's really cute. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it was really cute. And they have the llama ribbon. And you can see they have little llamas on there and cacti. Here's one that's just a bunch of little potted cactus plants. Look at that. And this one's just stripes, just little stripes. So it's a, it's a weird color combination. I don't think I've ever made a wreath with this color combination before. So I was looking at it and thinking, you know, I should have gotten some green, but I didn't. This is going to be a very colorful wreath. I can tell you that now. Um, to make our bundles, I found some white chenille stems. I'm trying to use up some of my, my, my supplies in the attic. I have um, a lot of stuff. Actually, a lot of this I had to go out and buy because it wasn't quite what I wanted. But I found some white chenille stems. Now, we're going to be cutting these in half to make our bundles and we're going to do the starburst technique again because it's my favorite and we're going to use these to hold our bundles together and for the mesh I have picked some interesting colors and not really sure how this is going to go I found this yesterday at Michael's 
I would love to be able to find kind of a a coral color not really pink but not really orange either but I found this light orange and these were these are on sale right now at Michaels if you need mesh um, I think all of the mesh is on sale $4.99 each so I get this for $4.99 it's normally $10 um, it has this stripe in it it's kind of iridescent but it's a light it's not a neon orange it's kind of a pale orange so I thought that would look good and I want to use just a little bit of this now this is fall deco mesh I don't think I'm going to use a lot of this um, maybe just to add a little bit of this burlap that kind of brownish color to it just a, not a lot maybe just a little bit and in the attic I found this big thing of tool it's a tool spool it's a hundred yards of nylon tool and I've never used it it's still in the packaging it's pink I thought it would look okay this tool is very uh, faint it's it doesn't really stand out because it's so sheer I thought it would add a nice little bit of color to it just a little bit of that and then I have three rolls of this mesh and this is from last Easter from Dollar Tree and I had a bunch of this left over for some reason so we're gonna put some blue in here it's a really pretty blue I like that so I'm probably gonna have quite a bit of that in there and I found some white deco mesh in the attic this is from Christmas and has a little Christmas picture on it so I, I went ahead and pulled out what I do I go through the attic and the the supplies I have I go through everything and if I see anything that I think might work I just go ahead and pull it out um, without even thinking I spotted a bunch of ribbon and I went ahead and took it all out but when you see how much ribbon I already have you'll see why that's funny because I'm I'm not gonna need it I don't need any more ribbon to go with this wreath I even found a roll of this gold deco mesh this is from last fall isn't that beautiful so we're gonna put a roll of this in there this pretty gold deco mesh very nice oh and I also found this bright yellow tool I think I bought this when I was doing Easter wreaths earlier this year this really bright yellow but it's very sheer so it's not gonna look it's not gonna look that bright in the wreath we're just gonna add a little bit of this yellow deco mesh to it I have a bunch on this roll so I could really do as much or as little of that as I want so I already showed you this ribbon so we have one two three four five, seven we have seven rolls of skinny ribbon that's already a lot this wreath is gonna be ridiculous it's going to be so over the top and ridiculous um and then I wanted some wider ribbon that kind of matched this whole color scheme so I went shopping I'm not gonna tell you how much I spent because it's embarrassing <laughs> it's ridiculous I found this ribbon right here I found all of these and I love them all I couldn't pick so I bought all of it and none of it was on sale it's scandalous I know I can't believe I did it let me show you so we have I don't need any more ribbon because I already have all of this to make one wreath it's absolutely absurd um yeah I, I'm I've lost my mind okay I'm gonna show you these yes this one's cute look at this it's fringe but it has a wire in the middle but I love the color I love how sparkly that is and it just has fringe on either side um, we have 18 feet of that it's an inch and a half wide very nice and then this one is white and it has little uh, peach colored and teal and gold arrows 18 feet of that and this one's pretty this is kind of a burlap ribbon and it's blue and then it has cream colored and navy 
a sort of a rust color in the little lines in it. That's also an inch and a half and 18 feet. Very pretty. I like that one. I like all of them. I think this is my favorite though. This is so pretty. Look at that. It has sort of a copper color to it and then different shades of blue. Inch and a half by 18 feet for that one. And then finally, we have this one here. It's kind of an off-white with a, sort of a peach colored little polka dots and then little little X's and little little hash marks. So cute. Inch and a half by 18 feet. So I think we have plenty of ribbon. I, the, all the ribbon I pulled out of the attic, I don't think I'm going to worry about using any of it because we already have lots of ribbon to go into this crazy wreath. Okay, for decorations, I found these little clip-on daisies in the attic, and I kind of like the colors. They're kind of light colored. You know, they got the little roach clip on there. There you go. It's very cute. So you don't even have to glue these. You just figure out where you want them in the wreath and just clip them in there and, and you're done. I don't even remember what I bought these for. I probably got these last spring when I was doing spring wreaths and just didn't use them. So, and then when I was at Michael's yesterday, I looked through some of their clearance spring flowers. They had a bunch of um, beautiful little floral arrangements and everything from spring and summer, and they're all 70% off. So I grabbed a little bouquet of little daisies. I thought it would be cute to hot glue some of this stuff in there. And then I found these little blue flowers. I don't know. I just, I saw them. They were really cheap. I thought it would be fun to put that in there. And then I had to go look for llama decorations. I've been all over town. I started at Dollar Tree because I know in the past, up near the registers, you could always find little llama themed things up there, little notepads or luggage tags or little plush llamas. I couldn't find a single llama in Dollar Tree yesterday. That's a sentence I never thought I'd say. There were no llamas in Dollar Tree. So I had to go elsewhere. I found this, look at this luggage tag. It has yarn in his hair. So what we're going to do, we'll just take the little strap off there. We're just going to glue that sucker right into the wreath. Because he's cute. A little luggage tag llama. And then I found a little iron-on patch from Simplicity. It's a cactus. It's very small, but we can hot glue that in there. I was really hoping to find some more iron-on transfers like this, some just patches of llamas and stuff. This was the only thing I found. I couldn't find any llama patches. It's very disappointing. Now this is a little wrist wristlet. I bought it because I love the design and the pattern on it. I think I'm actually, I got this at Dollar Tree. I think I'm actually gonna cut out like a heart or something and glue that into the wreath and cut a heart out of this and stick that in there. I just wanted the colors. I just want to incorporate the colors into the wreath. So I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to, you have this big surface here. Just cut out a heart. And then I could maybe do like two little hearts, cut them out on the front. I don't know. It's just pretty. They had a bunch of these in all different designs at um, Dollar Tree. Oh, and I did find these. These are felt embellishments. I did find these. It says unwind a little. You could put that in there. And a cactus. And a happy fuzzy llama. So we're going to glue all that in there. And I think that's going to do it. I think that's going to be more than enough. I was kind of hoping to find like just a little plush llama and I would just sort of nestle it down in the middle. That would have been perfect. I may keep looking for one and if I find one maybe add it later. So far I have not been able to find one anywhere. I was really hoping I could find one at Dollar Tree. I know they've had them. Every now and then they'll have little stuffed animals. I know I've seen them but they don't have any right now. So anyway. These are some of my decorations. The first thing we have to do is start making the bundles out of all that mesh 
Gosh, we have some crazy colors for this one. I mean, we have this pale orange, we have blue, white, we have yellow tulle, a little bit of burlap. I do have one thing of gold here. And then that big, it's like a fancy roll of toilet paper. Remember when you could get toilet paper in different colors? Yes, kind of like that. Only wide. But it's tool. I wouldn't wipe your butt with that. It probably wouldn't feel too good. Probably wouldn't work very well either. So the first thing we need to do is start making bundles that we can attach to the wreath. The decorating comes last. The first thing we have to do is put everything together. So let's get started on the bundles. I have everything set up. I have cut up some of the chenille stems. Just cut them in half. Um, and I've cut all of my ribbon. Look here. So I've cut these into approximately nine inch lengths. These are a little bit longer. And you see how I dovetailed the ends of all of these ribbons? That's very easy to do. You just take it and fold the, the ribbon lengthwise, and then you just cut it at an angle. See, here's the outer part. And you just cut it at an angle, and then you do the same with the other side. You just fold it in half lengthwise, and just cut it right there. You're just basically cutting off that little corner, so that when you open it up, it's going to look like that. So I did that for all of the ribbon, and I have little stacks of ribbon everywhere. This stuff was kind of cool. It looks like little, little pink dingle balls on it. It's very soft and fuzzy. I couldn't really dovetail this because of the way it's made. Um, and this stuff here, I couldn't really dovetail it. I'm just going to leave it like it is. It's very fuzzy. <laughs> Feels like a centipede. I'm just going to leave it. I didn't try because it's just fringe. So... I got enough little pieces of fringe everywhere as it was, um, but yeah, the rest of it I've, I've dovetailed. I like these little curly pieces. We're going we're gonna to be sticking some of this in there. <laughs> I think I had nine feet of each of these little skinny ribbon spools, so I have nine feet of this curly stuff here. And I wanted to show you this. I forgot to show you this earlier. These are little metal buttons. Yeah, I've got one with the llama and some little cacti in the little pots. Now these are kind of heavy because they're metal buttons, but I'm going to try to find a way to affix these to the wreath. I might be able to feed, um, take one of these pipe cleaners cut in half. I may be able to feed that through the hole and just attach it to the frame. That might be the best way. I don't know that a hot glue gun would do it because they're they're kind of heavy. So, I'll, but I thought they were cute. I'm going to find a way to incorporate them into the wreath somehow or other. Okay, now that we have everything cut and ready, I'm going to show you how to make bundles. Um, we have a bunch of different colors of mesh this time. We have blue, we have that burlap stuff, we have white gold, and then that pale orange. So we have a bunch of colors here. Now to do the starburst technique for the bundles, this is my favorite style. I've made a bunch of these. So you have these sections of mesh. Cut them about nine inches long. It's approximate with these. Uh, you can make a little form, like take a piece of cardboard and cut it, you know, make it nine inches long and wide enough to hold the mesh. And you can use duct tape to reinforce it, and then you just wrap it around and around, and then you just cut, and then you have it all nice and even. But no, I like to do things the hard way. I just cut them individually because I'm weird like that. And we also have the pink tool and the yellow tool, so we can add that too. All right, now here's how you do the starburst technique. It's really easy after you practice it. A little bit. You take the opposing corners of your piece of mesh, pull it a little bit. Don't handle it roughly because it will come apart. Pull on it, kind of fold it together in the middle, pinch it, and you make like a little bow tie like this. 
Now you gotta hold it together because if you let it go, it's gonna come apart. I like to just hold it in between my fingers while I get the other pieces ready. You can use a clothespin or a chip clip or whatever you want, just anything to hold it together. Alright, here's another piece. Here's a piece of the white mesh. Again, you take the opposing corners, pull, you're just pulling it just to separate it a little bit. Kind of hold it down, roll it together in the middle, pinch it, put it with the other one, and you're still holding everything so you don't let it go. Now that's two. I think we're going to do three pieces of mesh in each of these bundles. So here's a piece of that pale orange mesh. Now you will find that the Dollar Tree mesh is thinner. This is some from Michaels. It's going to be thicker. It's going to be a little different. But you do the same thing. You just take the alternate, take, take the corners here, pull it a little bit, kind of fold it down, pinch it, to, kind of fold it together in the middle, pinch it, and now you cut three together. Okay, so you cut your three pieces. You're going to hang on to it, keep pinching it, don't let it go. Now we're going to take a piece of the wider ribbon. This is the inch and a half. Lay it over top, keep pinching on it, and then a piece of this skinny ribbon, and we're going to lay it over top. This is going to be a crazy looking wreath. We're going to have so many colors. All right, I'm going to take one of the pipe cleaners. You're going to lay it across the top like this. This is the tricky part. Now you want to make sure you hold on to all this stuff. Don't let it go. Fold the pipe cleaner down. You're going to bend everything in half like that. Grab onto it. Got your pipe cleaner ends. You're going to twist them together on the underside of this bundle. I usually just twist them at least three times. And then you can let it go. It's going to stay. It's not going to come apart. That is your first bundle. Now it doesn't look like much right now, but when we get them all together and attach them to the wreath, they're going to look pretty good, I think. Let's do one more. We'll start with a piece of burlap ribbon. It has sort of a copper colored metallic thread running through it. Take the opposing corners, pull it, and you just kind of take your fingers, walk them over. Pinch it down. Boy, you can smell that burlap. Okay, you hold it like that. Get your next piece right here. Grab the opposing corners. Pull it. Walk over. You're just kind of folding it up on itself. Right in the middle. Pinch it. See, it's like a little bow tie. A little bow tie. See? Put it on top of the burlap. Or whatever mesh you're working with. And this technique works with any mesh. I mean, you can do any kind of wreath you want. You can mix and match these colors. You can use all different types of ribbon. I mean, you can do anything with this. And I, you know, we have, we have made so many wreaths using the starburst technique. It's, it's still my favorite. Okay, let's grab a blue piece. Again, you grab the opposing corners, pull it, sort of fold it in the middle, pinch it, put it on top, Let's do a piece of tool with that too. I have the some of this yellow tool here. Now it's very sheer, as you can see. The way I do this, I don't pull on it or anything. I just take the opposing corners and start kind of rolling it together. It's going to be kind of loose and funny looking, but there we go. Pinch it like that. Take a piece of ribbon. Here's some a different type. Oops, I'll put it over there. We'll put one of these little curly things on there too. Like that. So it's not it's not gonna lay flat, obviously, but that's okay. Take your half of the little chenille stem, lay it over the top. You're gonna bring it down to the underside of that bundle, fold it in half, hold everything together. Take your little stem and you're just going to twist it about three times under there. Let it go. And you can sort of, you know, spread it out now 
or you can wait until you've added all of your bundles to the wreath and then spread it out. Sometimes I'll do it that way. I think that's going to add a cute touch. I've never used anything like this in one of these wreaths, but I kind of like the, the curly nature of it. It's different. Yeah, I think I'm going to like that. There's a bundle. Now each bundle is going to look a little bit different because we have all these different types of ribbon. We have different colors of mesh, so it's going to be pretty, cra pretty crazy. <laughs> all right. I'll grab another piece. We'll make an, one more bundle. Take the opposing corners, pull them a little bit, come over to the middle, just kind of fold it up on itself. There's your little bow tie. There's a crow out there laughing at me. <laughs> okay, here's a gold piece. They're laughing because they got into one of my bird feeders this morning. They did. They got, I got these new bird feeders and they figured out how to get into them. The crows did. And they had bird seed all over the ground in my backyard. <laughs> I think they're literally laughing at me. You can't defeat me. Okay, so you take the opposing corners, pull it, fold it in the middle, lay it on top. Okay, there's that. I have a lot of this pale orange. It's sticking to my tool. <laughs> That's what she said. The bad thing about the tool is that it kind of sticks to the mesh. So you have to kind of keep the tool and the mesh separate until you're ready to use them. My tool just fell into my pile of mesh, so that was awesome. Okay, how about we use this kind of ribbon right here? Look at this pretty ribbon. Isn't that nice? And with that, we'll give it a little green strip of llama heads. Look. Oh my goodness, this wreath is going to be crazy. Take your pipe cleaner, lay it across, fold it in half. Now you can use more pieces of mesh, and I may do that. I may go to four. Um, just to keep from having as many bundles. Um, but for the average 14 inch wreath, I end up needing about 50 of these. Uh, 50 to... 55 bundles depending on how how big the bundles are These are a little bit smaller than some of the other bundles I made so it may be closer to 55 bundles And I'm going to try to use up all of my ribbons. So this is going to be a very ribbon heavy <laughs> wreath Just because I want it to be That's the fun thing about making wreaths is that we're going to do one more because I'm still talking one of the great things about making these wreaths is there's no wrong way to do it. Whatever you want to do, that's the right way to do it. You did it the right way if you're happy with it. Opposing corners, pull. Fold it together in the middle. And the more you do, the faster you're going to get at it. I could probably make these in my sleep at this point. I've given away lots of them. Um... I've only kept a few of the wreaths that I've made. I don't know, I just, well, for one thing, I don't need a ton of wreaths. And for another thing, I just, I like to, I like to give things to people. So, yeah. Alright, there's a piece of that pale pink tulle on top. Here we have some of this ribbon here. I'm going to put a piece of that on there. How about a piece of the striped ribbon on top of that? Lay this across the top. Fold everything in half. Kind of even up your pipe cleaners. Fold them. Twist them about three times and let it go. This ribbon is a little different. It's The texture is different. So there's another bundle. Now I'm going to show you how to attach them to the wreath form itself. And you end up with a mess. It's a good idea to keep a little trash can handy because you'll be constantly dealing with stuff. 
All right, here we have our 14 inch round wreath form. Now you'll notice that there are four wires going through here and you have sections. Oh, one thing I wanted to tell you about the sections. Say you're doing a wreath that only has a little bit of one color in it. Like I only have one roll of that gold mesh. I want to make sure it's evenly distributed all the way around. So what I'll do is, usually the first bundles I make will have all of the gold in it and, you know, the other colors. And then I will just put one here, one here. I just make sure to distribute the bundles with that one color all the way around. So you're going to have that color going all the way around. You don't end up with just clumps of, of you know, one specific color or whatever. Um, that's a good way to distribute it if you have just a little bit of a certain color of mesh or a certain type of ribbon or something like that. Just use these sections that are here to hold it together. You have six, one, two, three, four, five, six on this particular wreath frame. Um, just use the sections to distribute that bit of color or ribbon or whatever you have. One, two, you just put them, you know, like you could put two here, two here, however many bundles you have with that color in it. And then you can kind of spread it out. You could put other things in between them in that section or just whatever you want to do to spread it out. All right, now we're going to turn the wreath form upside down. So it's kind of bowed out on the underside. All right, we're going to grab one of our bundles. Here's one. Now remember, we have these two pieces of uh, the chenille stem. We have the ends here. We're going to thread it under. Now we're only going to be using these two wires. We're not going to do anything with the outer or the inner wire. And they're not going to show when we're done because these bundles are going to spread out so much that it's going to cover them up. You take your two ends of the chenille stem. You're going to wrap them around those two inner wires and then just twist them together under here. And you can just take the ends, this part, and you can just kind of tuck that under if you want to, just to keep it from sticking out. We'll do one more. Here's one. It's got a piece of tool stuck to it. Okay. We take the two ends of the chenille stem, put it around these two wires, and twist. You just want to twist them together like that and tuck it under. Now we're going to turn it back right side up. Now it doesn't look like much right now, but when we're done, we're going to have a whole wreath with all kinds of crazy colors on it. It's going to be really something. This is going to be one of the most colorful wreaths I've ever made. Probably one of the most interesting <laughs> as far as all the patterns and the ribbons and everything. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. So I'm going to keep making bundles and I'm going to keep adding them to this. And I'll show it to you when we're all done. Before we decorate it, I want you to see what it looks like with everything added to the wreath form. Okay, I have to say, this wreath is really pretty. I'm really happy with it. Um, we'll see what you think. It has all the colors in it. I think this pale orange was a great choice. I'm really glad I found it. It goes perfectly with the blue in here and the, you can see a little bit of the gold peeking out. And then of course we have the burlap in here and a little bit of the white mesh and ribbons everywhere. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Now, we, we haven't decorated it yet. That's the next step. But, and we have little bits of the curly stuff in there. I think it's really cute. I'm really glad I found that ribbon at Dollar Tree because that kind of inspired this whole thing. But look at it. It's so cool. I like that. That's really neat. So now we get to add decorations to it. And for that, we have some flowers. We're going to stick some flowers in there. And see what I'll do is I take my little cutters and I'll just cut them off here. 
and then I figure out where I want to stick them and I stick them down in there and then I hot glue them to the wreath. I have some little daisies here. These little clip-on flowers that I don't even have to glue. I have two of those. And then we have our little our little applique cactus. Our llama luggage tag. And we have these little embellishments. These are felt embellishments. Very cute little things there. Oh, and I took that little wristlet that I found at Dollar Tree. I really like the pattern. And I cut out a big heart from the back and then two little hearts from the front. And then see, I can just hot glue these in there. They're small, but I, I really like the colors in that uh, pattern. So we're going to put those in there. And then I have the little metal buttons that I'm going to add to the wreath. And again, they're small. But I want to put them in there anyway. Alright, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and cut up everything and put it in there. And then we will come back and see how this thing looks once we decorate it. <laughs> okay, I've added everything to it. I think it turned out really cute. <laughs> Look! I have my flowers. Look at that big flower. And I have my llama. There's one. Here's the luggage tag llama peeking out right here. And the little cactus is just nestled there. And we have all kinds of blue flowers. I put this here that says unwind a little. And the little cutouts. There's one. There's another one that's just kind of nestled right there. Yeah, I think it's really cute. I really like this color combination. I was a little concerned that I would have too much of one color or not enough. I actually really think it turned out kind of neat. <laughs> I'll show you the back. So here you can see where the little pipe cleaners are all attached around those two inner little wires right there. See? All the way around. Each one represents a bundle. <laughs> One thing I did do, and I didn't mention this, since I had so much ribbon, I did um, about seven bundles in here of nothing but ribbon. And each one of those bundles had, I think, six pieces of ribbon in it. And I didn't do any mesh. It was just ribbon. I think the last time we did anything like that was when I made that Halloween wreath last year, which we used the roll technique to make that instead of starburst. Um, and I did some bundles that were just ribbon because I had so much Halloween ribbon and I wanted to work it all in there. I think that's the last time I've done that. So here it is. The llama wreath. I told you it was going to be crazy. I mean, there's a whole lot going on here. You have a lot of different patterns and, you know, designs and colors and lots of ribbon of every type little flowers sticking out everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out all right. It actually turned out better than I thought it would. <laughs> so there it is. I hope you like it. I think it's pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing this wreath come into being and I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon.